a long life. Now, maybe some of you don't want to have a long life. Maybe you have a miserable life and you don't want to extend it any further. <laughs> but it's a promise that we, if we obey our parents, things is going to go good for you. You see, so many times youth, younger people, think they know better than their parents. You know, I remember, you know, when my, my mom would scold me and I disobeyed her, and I think I told you guys this before, but some of you are new, so. I, it was Memorial Day. And the surf was up. <laughs> and if you know anything about surfers, you know, you don't want to hire a surfer because if the surf's up, guess what? They're sick. Yeah, they're surf sick. <laughs> they want to go surfing, right? So I, I disobeyed my mom, and I went surfing, and I ended up jumping off my board and cutting myself on the reef. Ended up getting six stitches underneath. And you know what it's like? Because coral, that the coral is a live organism, and you don't clean it out, it'll grow. And you know, they had this uh, brush. Ouch. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> And they scrubbed on that, and, and I was in pain. Guess what my mom said? Mm -hmm. you, uh, uh, did your mom ever say, see what I told you? <laughs> you didn't listen to me. And, and in Japanese, the word is bachi. You know, is uh, what goes around comes around. <laughs> you didn't listen to me, so you deserve what you got. In Titus, the apostle Paul says, you, however, must teach what is appropriate to some doctrine. Teach the older men to be temperate, worthy of respect, self-control, and sound in faith, in love, and in endurance. Likewise, teach the old women, older women, to be reverent in the same way they live, not to be slanders addicted to much wine, but to teach what is good. Now, sometimes you guys you know that what happens when a bunch of old women get together and they start gossiping. Don't worry, man. You guys are just as bad as this. I'm just saying the older women are getting together. And, 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 and you know what? It just ends up in trouble. There's no, no good thing that can happen from gossip. But why do people gossip anyway? He said too long, too. Huh? Is it because they want to make themselves look better than the others? Could be, right? But it doesn't bring me about any good. And when you get together, it should be out of love, doing for them, listening to their problems, and being sympathetic to whatever is going around in their life. They can urge the younger women to love their husband and children, to be self-controlled and pure. To be busy at home, to be kind, and to be subject to their husbands, so that no one will malign the word of God. Simply encourage the young man to be self-controlled. In everything, set them an example by doing what is good. In your teaching, show integrity, seriousness, and sound of speech, and cannot be condemned. That cannot be condemned, so that. Those who oppose you may be ashamed because they have nothing bad to say about us. How many of you have bad stuff people can say about you? How many of you like it when people talk about your bad stuff? But you know what? If we live our lives that is pure and holy, they only can say good about us. They try to make it bad, but it's actually good. <laughs> Matthew 19. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength. And these commandments that I give you today are to be on your hearts. So what do you do with those commandments? You impress them on your children. Talk about them when you sit at home. And when you walk along the road. And when you lie down. And when you get up. Now, why did God go and say the same thing over and over again? Maybe it is important that God wants you to remember 
that education for our youngsters needs to be the family, the parents, to teach them to do what is right. And yet, what's happening today is the parents are handling the, res handling the responsibility of upbringing of their kids to the government to take care of. And that's why we're in such a mess, because they are taking the rights of the parents and giving it to the government. What does the government know about taking care of kids? Well, if it's a good government, if we have a righteous president, it, it might be good. But if you have the wrong person, in the government. And that can be very bad. Because they're teaching, the education system, they're not teaching what they need to be teaching. They're teaching something that is really going against everything that God stands for. He says, tie them as a symbol around your hands and bind them on your foreheads and write them on the door frames of your houses and on your gates. You can tell a person's Christianity by going and visiting their home. You know, they got demonic posters, right? They got ne everything negative, and maybe in their Facebook, they're using the F bombs. That, that thing, right? They come to church, and, and they're all looking nice and pretty and righteous. And Jesus talks about that. He calls them hypocrites, whitewash walls, you. On the outside, you're nice, painted, whitewashed, you know? Flowers around, but inside is dead man's bones. And he says, no, that's not the way to live your life. One of my favorite scripture verses again, therefore, if you have any encouragement from being united with Christ, if any comfort from his love, if any common sharing in the spirit, if any tenderness and compassion, then make my joy complete by being like-minded having the same love, being one in spirit and one of, of one mind, and do nothing for it out of selfish ambition. You know, living in a narcissistic society is me, me, me. I'm first. It says do nothing out of selfish ambition or pride, being conceived, but rather humility value others above yourself. Not looking to your own interests, but each of you to each other's interests. And when I think about how these connections all over that I've come into time and time again, that's because the family of God even though it's big, it is also small. We need to love each other as God loves us. How are you? Hi. Hi. The song I chose for